So moving on to our second story, we're staying with the the US election. Um, I've tried to stay away from, uh, you know, the claims of fraud and and misinformation and and impropriety and all those kinds of things, just because I've not seen uh, the evidence personally. So I don't think it would be right for me to, to weigh in. However, we have one solid piece of evidence now of, won't say impropriety or fraud, but um, error, an error. Uh, so this is in Floyd County in Georgia, where they've suddenly found uh, 2,500 new ballots. Um, and they basically said something went wrong in the process. Um, and two thirds of these votes are for Trump, um, a third for Biden and a couple for the, uh, the liberals. Um, but that's insane. Uh, how do you miss... 2,500 votes, and then when they are asked, they say, uh, we, we don't know, we don't really know how we missed it at all, um, which just seems bizarre. Um, and then as part of this, obviously, the, the various legal cases ongoing, um, and you will find on social media and in the mainstream media that they will keep saying this, uh, you know, Trump's claiming this, that and the other. There's, there's no evidence of, of widespread voter fraud. Um, the legal cases actually don't have anything to do with fraud. So they're being led down a path by Trump because Trump goes on to Twitter and says all sorts of nonsense. Um, but I think almost that's to distract from the legal cases because as long as they're focused on Trump saying this, they're focusing their attention there. They're missing the fact that actually the legal cases are about impropriety, uh, whether uh, votes should be counted if they came in after a certain time, um, you know, if there weren't watchers in in, uh, in the ballot counting offices. Um, yeah, very strange. But then the Twitter will, will go all out against Trump when he says he comes out and like Biden has been saying I won I won I won and they go yeah he won there's no doesn't seem to be any argument even though it's not certified um and then Trump says I won and Twitter put uh, a warning on it to say uh official sources uh, have called the election differently I wonder what they count as official sources because as far as I'm aware um each state has to certify the count. That's the official source. Once that's done, it goes to the Electoral College. The Electoral College casts their votes um, and then it is announced, I I believe on the 14th of December, who the next president-elect is. Um, At the moment, it looks like it will be Biden, but um, personally, touch wood, you know, we'll have uh, a second term of Trump. Um, but it's just very strange that they they class the mainstream media as official sources when I, I don't see how that can be. How is it any different from Trump saying I won to the mainstream media saying Biden won? They're not official, neither is Trump. Therefore, there should be warnings everywhere. Uh, Biden shouldn't be called president-elect and we should be waiting for uh, a final certification from the states for the legal cases to to be completed um, let that follow through then you will know that you have had uh, a fair election and whatever the result will will be um, you know both sides can then say well Trump had his legal cases uh, the Democrats did what they needed to do um, so as far as we know everything was fair here's the winner um, but you know, the mainstream media will keep stirring up tension. Um, the radical left will keep attacking wherever they, they feel like it. And uh, yeah, there's a uh, little bit of time yet to, to see what happens. But uh, like I say, touch wood, uh, Trump 2020. 